Welcome everyone to the Super Size Phys Ed Podcast. I am your host, Dave Carney, and I teach PE kindergarten through fifth grade in Fort Myers, Florida. Hope you're doing well. I'm actually going to put this out. If you're listening to it, it is Black Friday. So I'm recording this a few days early because we're going away. So if you're hearing me, this is actually in the past, but you're in the present and... That means I'm in the future. No, I'm not in the future. I don't know. So anyways, um, I'm going to do a quick five Boomer Friday to get you through on Black Friday and get you through the holiday weekend. Hopefully it's been awesome. So here we go. All right. So the first Boomer, that means the first thing we're going to talk about today. If you haven't listened to these before, I would give uh, five quick, quick, cool things I've been listening to or people I follow or things like that. And uh, just to try to give you some value real fast. So the first one is a person. Now, I talk about Joey Feith a lot from thephysicaleducator.com. I definitely want to put him up there in the top dog atmosphere of phys ed teachers. He gives, gives, gives a lot of value, a lot of games, a lot of resources. So check him out, thephysicaleducator.com. He does a lot of animated games. Um, I actually met him at the PE Institute 2015 where I learned how to play Prairie Dog Pickoff and just how he builds or he, that he calls, yeah, he calls them builds or layers of games. And it was just really, really insightful. And I appreciate his, his help and everything. So, and I've talked to him before on, on Voxer and things, and he's helped me with some, some kind of projects and, and ways to set up my units. So definitely want to shout out Joey Fyth, physical educa- educator.com. Check him out. All right. Number two, an app. I'm going to leave it real simple, Instagram. I've been getting on Instagram so much lately and just posting on what we've been doing in PE. And I know you got to be careful with, you know, kids' faces and things like that. And I actually just uh, approved through my administration, fifth grade, I had them um, fill out some extra waivers. It's kind of like a waiver on top of a waiver um, of whatever, just to make sure they're allowed to be on YouTube and Instagram and things like that. So. Um, I just suggest that you get on Instagram if you're not already, and if you are, start start posting. I post one or two a day of what we're doing in PE or my daughter doing gymnastics or something like that, but just to um, connect with more people and to see what's out there. And, you know, I in the past, for me, it's been a lot of Voxer and Twitter. Well, now I'm more on Instagram, and I just think it's a really great uh, resource. And, again, just following different hashtags um, is definitely the way to go. So I will put my link as to uh, – my Instagram um, handle in the show notes so you can follow me and I can follow you back. So Instagram is number two. All right. So a music kind of thing for number three is um, make, create, or follow my music montages because I love doing music montages and I will put a link in the uh, description for my montage one, the first one I ever created and I also have a YouTube video on how to do the dances with it. If you want to try it out with your kids, um, yeah, you could have it and learn how to make them. I, I'll put both in there, uh, how I make them, and also you know some links to, or at least the link to Montage 1. If you want more, let me know. I will send you more. So that is number three, music montages. All right, number four, a, a documentary on Netflix I hope I'm saying this right. Icarus, I C A R U S. It is about the doping scandal in cycling, which then led to the Russian doping scandal, and it was amazing. It was in, like in real time. The filmmaker, um, he was basically looking into um, just doping in general. I think in, in cycling, it's I haven't seen it in about a year, but it was just it was awesome. And he was actually giving himself, like injecting himself, and trying to see how he felt, and and just basically filming that. And then it became all about the Russian Olympics and one of the heads of the Olympic doping scandal um, he got involved with. And then, I mean, it became almost like a a mob kind of thing, like, you know, gangster kind of related stuff. And it was it was pretty uh, intense. But it was if you like that kind of stuff, like I always followed cycling until and I I loved Lance Armstrong until stuff happened. And um, if you like that kind of stuff, definitely watch it. Icarus. It is awesome. All right, the final one is a podcast. One of my podcasts that I listen to uh, sporadically, it depends on the topic, is called Stuff You Should Know. And they cover everything. They cover things on, I don't know, chess, football, 
<laughs> how police lineups work, uh, comic books, comic book collections, Star Wars. They cover pretty much everything. I mean, it doesn't have to be fitness related. Uh, maybe the, the, I think there are some that are kind of in that uh, realm of PE type thing. But it's mostly just random stuff that you're like, huh, I never knew how that worked. So I'm going to listen to a podcast on it. And it's just the most random stuff you could think of and very cool stuff. Like just, you know, the Great Wall of China. I remember listening to one on that and because I never knew much about it. And just they, they do the research and then they put in a podcast for about about an hour. So check out Stuff You Should Know. All right. And that was my, I guess, boomer to stop things. Um, again, hey, this is a quick, this is the quickest episode I ever put out. I just want to do a very fast one for the um, holiday weekend and just give you some stuff to maybe check out if you get a chance. Those are my five boomers for Friday, and I hope you guys have a great holiday weekend. I will leave you with a beat. I got to make some more beats. It's the last one I have on here. I'm going to make some more, but have a great weekend. You guys are awesome. Take care.